Mainly, the ASDT BG8S Battery Go is an intelligent battery checker that has other features like the battery checker supports the battery go technology. It is also a USB charger. Also has a facility of lithopolymer battery cell balancing. And my favorite one is a radio receiver signal analyzer. PWM and SBUS. The last function, SBUS, is the one for which I mainly bought this tool because I need to understand what happens at the output of the SBUS, Crossfire and Express LRS lines of a specific receiver. For a Crossfire and Express LRS receiver, I use a Crossfire to SBUS converter, mainly because both receiver types use the Crossfire protocol to interface with the flight management unit. You have plenty of overviews on different blogs on YouTube channels, so that I will present here only some issue with the SBUS analyzer. The TBS Diversity Crossfire module is configured to supply the SBUS signal to the flight management unit and the ISDT BG8S is connected in parallel with the SBUS output of the Crossfire module. Channel number 3 here. So, as you see, the data from the RC station is correctly decoded and send it to the flight management unit and the ISDT BG8S is working correctly, showing the information on each channel. The displayed information is inverted. When the throttle is up, I get the minimum value and when the throttle is down, I get the maximum value. But this is not a big issue. Now, configuring the Crossfire diversity module from the RC station to generate an non-inverted SBUS data. At this point, the ISDT BG8S started to have problems in correctly decoding the SBUS data stream. In the second test, the output of the TBS Diversity Crossfire module is connected to a Crossfire to the SBUS converter. And the converter output is connected to the smart system, like in this figure. Also, the Crossfire to SBUS converter output is sent to the flight management unit. First, as you see, the data from the RC station is correctly decoded and sent to the flight management unit. But second, the ISDT BG8S smart system cannot display this information. So let's see the software version of the system. It is 1.2.0.4 at the beginning of June 2022. And the latest version to which we are able to upgrade is 1.2.0.1. So we are on the latest software update up to now.